Friday. Oh, I say, thank God it's Friday. I'll soon message you on TGIF on Facebook. Usually, I host the Love and Gala other show and the technical support the director at the time among other messages. And the other one is the one that 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 is the one Uh, El al uh, TGIF usually kada blood start tni lo bang lumu uh, mm-hmm. uh, malway say yaku ni tra Elvis or oh, can you uh, please uh, uh, give us our opening prayer to open our show? Thank you. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We acknowledging your presence this afternoon. We humbly come before your feet, Lord, to say a word, to experience your goodness, and to say your goodness among your people. We thank you for this very wonderful week that, Lord, you have been so good to us from Monday till uh, Friday evening. We just uh, enjoy your blessings and we just thank you for who you are and what you are. As here we are to declare your goodness, to say your, uh, say your love and your goodness among your people that what you have been doing in our lives. So, Father, as we go in through, we acknowledge in the presence of your Holy Spirit who is with us and he will be directing and leading us in everything that we will be going through here this afternoon. So, Father, I pray, commit every program and everything that, Lord, we will be going through and we commit them into your hands and we ask this pray in your name. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, Malwai say uh, again our uh, guest again ang Arsel Four Square Church ang atyang Dana Osima, ma Elvis Bossi. Is that how you say it? Bossi, right. okay. Uh, and the tiyal ligeles siya ra Four Square Church at yung nargel ligeles siya. Tiyang ang arangar bodo lo. Arangar bodo lo. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Four Square Church? Uh, Sa tiyang ako ramil ka ramo ni or ngara. Uh, tell us a little bit of the history of uh, Four Square Church. Uh, thank you. Um, Four Square Church has been uh, established back in early 1900. Oh, okay. So it was started in uh, U.S. United States, and it was going across the world. And the first church has been planted in Papua New Guinea in 1956. Wow! So from there, there start to be uh, the church has start to be growing across. All of Papua New Guinea. From there, okay. they have come up with this vision to bring the church to the uh, neighboring islands in the Pacific. So, like Pap- Papua New Guinea has been the uh, leading nation in the uh, Pacific to bring the church of the gospel, uh, four square gospel, to the Pacific. Mm. So, he, the church has been here in Palau maybe some five years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, actually, it's about uh, sharing uh, the word of God to reaching out to the people. Yeah. So, like, Four Square Gospel, it's about uh, all about the ministry of uh, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ is the Savior. Mm-hmm. He's the uh, baptizer. And he's a healer. Yes. And he's the soon coming king. That's the Four Gospel that Four Square Gospel is uh, based on and it's preaching out, which Jesus himself has been, uh, when he came here on the earth, he was uh, doing this in his ministry. Uh, he went out, he's uh, saving the people and he, he was baptizing them uh, in water and in the spirit. And he was bringing healing in the life of people. And he's the soon coming king. And that's the four uh, gospel 
and that's the principle that uh, Foursquare Gospel has been based. Mm. And we've been good. It has been carrying out in ease. Right. And we st uh, stand up on that principle, and we are preaching uh, this gospel uh, to bring in the souls uh, to the kingdom of God. So, what is your uh, position in the Foursquare Church, and and how were you? Uh, are you? Did you bring the? Are you the founder of the Foursquare Church, or here in Palau, or? What's the position and uh, how did you come from uh, Papua New Guinea to Palau? Uh, thank you. I know you're looking at me and you're going, <laughs> the, this Papua New Guinean is asking me, how did I come to Palau? But <laughs> Yes, uh, actually, I'm not a founder. Uh, uh -uh. Uh, there is a guy who has been, who brought the church here. Uh -huh. uh, uh, actually, he should be here, but uh, he's been out of the yeah. island and before that. COVID coming in, so, okay, so okay. he's still out of the island. Okay. Uh, but we send I, we send our prayers to him, yeah. Amen. <laughs> so I just came in two years ago mm. uh, just to help and to support the work of God here in Palau. Yeah. So like I'm I'm just helping. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm just helping the uh, work of God to be, you know, to reaching out to the oh, people right. here. Yeah. Yes. And that's yeah. wonderful. So, so I'm the missionary. A missionary, okay. Yes. All right, thank you, Elvis. Uh, okay, and then I have a lot of more than Foursquare Church. I have a lot of people who are in Foursquare. Actually, it's interesting that you asked that question. Uh -uh. It was not my plan, uh -uh. but it was the plan of God. And through my prayer, I came to Palau in 2006, uh, being missionary out there for 25 years. I see. And I was uh, with another church for 10 years. Years. And after 10 years, I was uh, asking the Lord, uh, uh, Lord, I'm here and I really want to give, mm -hmm. give out to the people of what I've learned and gained, mm -hmm. experience. But um, the church uh, that I worked with uh, didn't give, allow me to... Uh, to help. So as I was praying, um, one day um, a Papua New Guinea Kenyan lady uh, say, I invite her to the church and play a four square. And uh, in fact, uh, my niece was going, she was invited her to go. So I went, uh, uh, basically went to uh, visit the church. So I went and visit the church to see what it is. Right. Uh, because of my niece, I want to make sure that she's in the right place, learning to know God more. So when I went there, um, I was relaxed and happy in my heart. So I, I didn't mind that my niece was going to the church. I came home and the, next, uh, the very next um, uh, Sunday, I went back. The third Sunday, Pastor uh, William, who is from Papua New Guinea, had to go to a trip. And I believe it was the Lord. And then he approached me and he said, uh, hey, I'm leaving um, Palau and I need someone to oversee the church for me. So ever since uh, he left and he came back, I led the church. And it's been like this every time he, he goes, I lead the church. And so he left um, 2020. And he got stuck because of the pandemic, so he's been out out for one and a half, five months, one year and five months. So, I guess you know I'm just uh, filling in, but uh, also I'm a full time missionary, and uh, it's been a, a quite an experience to uh, work in the church to oh, lead. And I'm learning a lot. And also working with Elvis. El mm -hmm. Elvis is a full-time missionary, and uh, we work together very closely. Right. So it's an opportunity to learn. So ti ako ra wal blol te lem el merula ti al blem o ngiter ngi ruba. Yes, I think it was the the Lord leading, I believe, uh -oh. because uh, ever since I moved to this church, to I I. There's nothing wrong with other churches. It's just that I, say, I need I to expand. Oh. Uh, I've been doing more and um, more work. Yeah. I say, all right. Uh, so that's really that's really interesting. So what she asked uh, the Lord actually was given to her yeah. to, uh, 
in a different uh, way uh, to lead uh, or to uh, exactly. help uh, yeah. uh, the church. Yeah, because so. it's not easy to lead. Uh, being in a leadership is really not easy. And there will be time if I know, that I would say, if I know the work will be like this, I would not have oh, I say. come. But I believe it's really for my own growth, uh, spiritually. Yeah. So speaking of that, the merang a om kuram la mesak mo kum la out kum la grow ngala kuram babira skills and offil la say kum la develop living at tell ligale siya ngala kuram lam sub. Selbalks one of the thing al ko black subia a learn al patience ngara chlor chlorine chlorine ako super ngil mal lengarin ay kail toko el bom si super ngil gom di edul pose ok mo tatal ulo kam nangul oiti emrail malubenta le kam nangul oiti raula le emrail ng kamo ay erdarum nding ako super masing makarang eh trust in the Lord the word hope and trust and waiting is really the Uh, uh, a word that I'm learning at this time. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, tell Four Square Church and magarang at sumun sa the joiner tell Four Square Church and magarang at the joiner ni ng ra o ng rang ako at email. Ngani a Sunday? Sunday, it's anybody can come in, walk in into the church. Um, we have uh, prayer meetings on every Wednesday nights, and also we're open for any visitation. Uh, our number is uh, 488-2337. Uh, um, my cell phone is uh, 778-3154. And Elvis' uh, cell phone is uh, seven seven zero zero six two six. Yeah. Okay. And Elvis, uh, you said you're also helping uh, the church. Uh, w- uh, I just asked her the same question, but what are some things that you've learned uh, uh, or skills that you've gained in helping the church? Uh, I can say there are a lot that I came here in Ellen. Uh, I haven't thought to be here uh, mm. earlier, but uh, I know that it was really God's plan for me to be here. So when I came here, I've been going through many uh, struggles, many things, many accusations that I have had uh, f- uh, from the organization. Uh, but I know that God is uh, preparing me for something greater. Mm. So I was still standing on the word of God. And I see in this uh, short period of time, as as Dana has mentioned, that uh, Pastor left in 2000, uh, 2020. And the short period of time as we were working uh, close together, hand in hand, we start to be learning many things, uh, things that we never been experiencing. And we uh, going into new things, new things that God has been bringing us mm. to how to be uh, running a church uh, without us a senior pastor. Right. So that was really a, a blessing to me. And also it was a challenging, but I know that God is preparing me yes. for uh, something Amen. greater that will be coming in my ministry and in my life as I walk on. I see. Yeah. All right. So, uh, TGIF is uh, about uh, uh, usually about uh, thanking God that it's uh, Friday. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of people say we need to thank God every day, and Amen. I believe that too. Yeah. And I also believe when it's Friday, you know, it, we're preparing for Sunday, which is uh, uh, the day that we give to the Lord. Mm-hmm. And so Friday is a good time to also reflect through the week and say, you know, we've made it through the week. <laughs> you know, so uh, uh, TGIF is not saying. You know, don't uh, thank God every day. Just saying, you know, on Friday, just let's also uh, thank God as well for making it through the week. Uh, mm-hmm. And so uh, we're very thankful to have you guys here. And we're thankful for those great stories that uh, also inspire uh, a lot of people. Uh, a lot of yes. uh, uh, people in Palau especially are going through a lot. Uh, and we don't know that people are going through a lot uh, uh, because sometimes we get busy with our own lives and, you know, we forget to also 
look uh, to our shoulders and and see how our neighbors are doing and how right. our friends are doing and so uh, that's why I really like this show because uh, we get to just uh, uh, relax and pray for those people that are uh, uh, in need of that prayer right. uh, mm-hmm. uh, say Maral beto ka araaval lungar ker maker lo uspe ang ang lungu o le to uspe ang esol malungar ngay kel tarap sila pasul to kolungar alsel mang tamral lo uspe ang esol ang lungu sorir sel problem material get solve even me ah virakal lungar ngay kel ngararungu kol sel kulungit tararuba halwa sa polswell magatmok lo ma virakal ngogi ay kagid eh apostle Say, I give the moral take a step of faith oh, yeah. and being thankful and give praise, get uh, like even negative oh, things yeah. because you know when you become positive, it will overcome the negative. Amen. If you don't think about that, if you believe me or not, if you pray and thank the Lord for the things that are happening, that are problems, but you're praying so positive, uh-huh. I tell you, it will boost and lift your spirit. Oh, I see. And at the same time, you will see answer. Right. You know, um, one of the hardest things that I'm going through, I, I just faced it yesterday, was somebody was almost attacking me. And it's been going on for two years that this person has been so negative. He will call me names. And as a Christian, what do I do? I just pray for him. But yesterday, it was overwhelming and more too much. I was not able to the report. But above all, I need to pray. I really need to pray. And also my mindset need to think positive. I see. Positive for this uh, person, my neighbor. When you think negative, your attitude becomes negative. Right. You know, it it changes your atmosphere. It it changes your um, attitude when there's uh, negative things. It's funny you're talking about this because ang dira kal ang mga nigel time al al dira katol aswalt mo tya ako raw lakrail malubong kura ako kura mle plan rarubak. Ang lekdukuk ti mesa sel da albang alerngi eh kuk ti ako tong li sel close plan. Oh oh, metal mo lo kung yak mal lungi le dahan alerng kura wal direct kal hit nga kal direct leng ngani yabe pirata mak mo okay lo say ngan mo lo ay say at ko erubak ngan mak lo lungi le a ada mal ay sel mirang ngan mak mal malas mal di ako makita lo kumdas ulgi le le ada mo daswia amak ni telgirek malu bengramak mal merula awngile mengkonye semua soyis pra oai tel tokoi and i think sometimes in til lagi dalam orang ini lasing meral kira del timok lok lau meral kira rubak mere rubak mengobior exactly oh oil ingin rubak angarnya tidak keguk ke mukti kerngi mengkata meral bebira tay mengkata mukti kerir mus penting agi mal kurang wajib sih mula mukti kerngi ya agi tetapi el al masad kerngi el angel oh oil wasing sel bebira tay mengkira del el di mu el lak lar mus eh oil lar rubak el lorior interesting lagu mesra aku ngarang el basel El mal soh al mo odulis el ngarap salba twenty five tiri am sabra hop set ngadir kel ngar am sabra hop in the Lord. Eh, abi bilam mal am sabra sesel suku mukto mengira rubah ngar ngil tor belas teri al mira rubah kah sendia hal bol merur. Dia kelas se sendia hal bol kor okay kah lam ram. Because when you wait with the faith in the Lord, the Adios Adial, we ikaw makorabi bum aloyt. He will come through for you. I believe in that. Yes, I think that's a very good point. So we were also 
just mentioning about that as well about how sometimes we need to be patient with right. the Lord's plan. Right. And so that's what we were also mentioning about uh, sometimes uh, we get so frustrated that's right. with the moment, but uh, mm. uh, at those moments, those are the time that maybe we need to pray and right. relax and let the Lord do His do his work Amen. what do you think about that uh, elvis yeah i think that's uh, very important in life like most of the time when things are happening in our life you know we are uh, we are living uh, in a in, in the body we are not living in the spirit so when things like that happen in our life we sometimes we're trying to be you know retaliate we're trying to be you know uh, try to act upon what is really happening but it's very uh, important as a Christian, as a believer, we have to be uh, calm down. We have to be, you know, just let our hearts and let a uh, peace of God be with us. Mm -hmm. Which Jesus himself said when he uh, left his disciple and when he wanted to uh, go back uh, go back to heaven, he said, I leave the peace with mm -hmm. you. Uh, not the peace the world that give you, but the peace that I have given you. So it's very important as a believer uh, that that peace of God is always be with us. Yes. So in times Amen. like that, uh, we just ask for God is uh, God's peace mm -hmm. to be prevail upon our life. So in that we can start to you know uh, be calm down and uh, God will start to do His work in our life. Amen. So it's very important that uh, uh, what Dana has been sharing mm -hmm. with us. All right. Uh, and so I'm very curious too about uh, uh, some of the you, you, f uh, where you're uh, from, uh, PNG. Uh, do you see some similarities as well with uh, being in church with Palauans and being in church with Papua New Guineans? Do you see a lot of uh, similarities as well? Uh, well, there is a slightly, you know, slightly different. Uh, like in culture and yeah. in a way that you know people are moving around and talk, but uh, in some cases there is st still similarities. Oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, people go around together when uh, family or community obligations are coming. You know, the family has to become together to sit down. And, yeah. You know, uh, and you know, I I ask this because when I was traveling to Samoa, the Fijians and the PNG and the they were like you know always every time they see each other they go hey, one tax you know right. mm -hmm. and I always wondered what one tax meant uh, and one tax is means one people uh, yeah. right is that is yeah, that the uh, one one talk is really one talk yeah yeah it's really an expression of like uh, <laughs> like a friend or like a brother yeah yeah so, yeah. And so every time I see my uh, Fijian friends or PNG friends or Solomon friends, I always tell them, hey, one talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 And I thought that brought them uh, together, like in the South Pacific, because here in Palau, we're very uh, uh, connected with the North uh, uh, Pacific Islanders. So we right. don't really, uh, we don't, we're not always connecting with the, the South Pacific, the mm -hmm. Fiji, uh, to, uh, uh, Tonga, Solomon, PNG, you know. So I, I, I think it's also good that you're here too, you know, to also uh, work with us in here and help uh, the church here in Palau. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, how uh, or, or your belief in God and what your uh, what your thoughts are in uh, as well as in um, uh, how we're talking about patience, you know. Uh, what are some things that you feel you should also uh, let people know about uh, this week as well? Yeah, thank you. Uh, do you do sermons or or do you help with the uh, or what's your what's your usual role in the church? Usually, I'm helping in you know in I'm also do sermon. Okay, I also do sermons and. I've been in music or like uh, some physical work to, uh, oh. to help him to put in things in place and prepare a place for the believers to come together and and support it in one uh, one way or the other, which I should be supporting. All yeah. right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the. Uh, 
some uh, quotes or some uh, ideas that you want to share about uh, this, uh, like some of the sermons that you share? Or uh, thank you. Uh, what I really want to bring to us this afternoon, when I have this call that I will be coming with Dana, we will be. Uh, sharing here in the studio and I was just pondering upon the, the Lord upon mm -hmm. the Word of God and the word that really comes to me is uh, about the youthful life about the youths as we, we know we come to a time that we've seen many things happening uh, across the world and through the regions that we are uh, all these things are happening you know uh, the frontliners are the youths these are the people that you know they igniting those things that have been uh, happening in the in different places but youth are a very important people so also the bible has been mentioning a lot about the young people so one of the scriptures that really make me and make me and ground me into the word as a young man when i was coming into saving the lord is in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 which he said, remember your creator in the days of your youth before the days of trouble comes and years approach for you to say, I find no pleasure in them. So that's the uh, word that it's really trigger, trigger me as a young man, the time that I'm making up my decision to follow Christ. That's the word that really comes in my heart that I have to be saving God when I'm still young. I know there are times they're going to be coming difficulties and challenges as I will be going through but as I am in a state of my youth I have to be saving the Lord I have to be doing things for God so when I am experiencing those days in life I will say that oh I never waste my time which I already quote here in the book of uh, English mm. there will be a time that we will be regretting if we are just, you know, uh, meshing our youthful, you know, youthful life is one of the very uh, interesting life. Many surprises and many adventures and many things that we experience in life, new things that we've been, we're going through. But also the Bible says we have to be, remember, we have to be remember our creator in the days of our youth. So I just want to leave this word to young people out there as they, they have many things, many things are coming in their life and many choices they will be doing, but the most important choice that they will be doing in life is they have to be receiving Christ Jesus as a Lord and a Savior. They have to remember the Creator who has been creating us. Also here in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 9, it says, You who are young, be happy while you are young, and let your heart give joy in the days of your youth. Follow the way of your heart and whatever your eyes sees. But know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. So the Bible stayed clear to us as a young man and a young women out there that we have to follow our hearts. We have to do what we, we are to do. But we have to know that at the end, God will bring us into judgment on what we are doing. So this is one of the very words that uh, it's come up in my heart when I was thinking of the presentation, how we will be presenting this afternoon. So I'm putting this word to young people out there. There are many things, there are many um, things that they will be doing in life. Mm. They will be going and experiencing, but the most and the foremost thing is they have to be remember the Creator, the one who has been creating us. Whatever we do today, God will be bring into the judgment. We will be going and stand in front of the judgment of God for what we are doing. So, in regard to this, as we know, that a devil has the plan for the young people. His plan is to kill, to destroy. And to seal, that's devil's main purpose. But God also have the plan. His plan is to, you know, a plan of prosperity, a plan of success, a plan of prosper in life. Mm. That's God's plan. 
so one of the uh, classical example that we see that Jesus, when he first came here on the earth, he was very selective to choosing people. When he go out to choose people, he never choose the old people. Mm -hmm. He never choose the the very young people, but he used the youths. You know that these are the people that he will be using. These are the people that they will be bringing the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jesus, when he came in, choosing his disciple, when he came for his ministry, he was choosing the young people. So, it shows that young people are very important in the society because young people will be, they are the first, they are the next of the king of the society for the nation, for the family. So we, they have to live and learn the principle of God. So when we tap into another chapter in our life, another stage out there, we'll be in a good, better position to how we'll be leading and bringing up the next generation. So this is the word that uh, really comes to me when I was sitting down and just thought of what we will become and sharing here. So I was praying over it and this word was really coming in my heart. So I hope this message is also helping the youths out there. And yeah. the, the choice and the decision is in our hands and it's the, in their hands to make the choice. And that's Thank a you. very good point to uh, Elvis because uh, also uh, what uh, our youth today is doesn't realize is that they're being really bombarded by uh, a lot of these uh, tools uh, that right. uh, mm. uh, both evil and good are using at this That's moment. Right. And so uh, media, for example, right. uh, can be used uh, for good. But uh, when you uh, saturate your whole uh, playlist or your whole uh, 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 your whole list of uh, music and and uh, movies with all these uh, sad, uh, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people, they, they like to watch a lot of uh, things that make them feel bad about themselves. Right. You know, uh, things that like, for example, uh, beauty uh, uh, products that show other women that are, you know, beautiful or show other men that have, you know, really muscular muscles. And mm. it makes a lot of other people feel bad, you know. Right. And yes, of course, we want to make sure to promote uh, being healthy and we want to make mm. sure to promote but that doesn't mean you know go ahead and just look at all these people and feel bad about yourself some people really get depressed from you know watching uh, a lot of uh, these people with different with rich rich um, uh, playing around with cars like mm. really uh, expensive cars and you know right. they feel bad about themselves and it made me think that you know sometimes the devil really knows how to use these tools mm. to uh, put despair in people's right. hearts That's right. right and you know and now that you're mentioning that the, the youth are very vulnerable to a lot of these uh, messages that the devil is putting out there right. you know and we have to be stronger and and be more uh keen to looking for positive messages looking for uh messages that motivate you and you know right. and instead of uh, making you feel uh you know all this uh depression you know especially right. depression because a lot of people you know they they watch these things they get they feel bad about their life and then next thing you know they're doing some unimaginable things you mm, know that's right exactly yeah <laughs> Mutabangi tell the world more. More mad paduba, I gel morni a ringla, ring his cell bolgeda or la bongola, Rabalul av. Eler ava di mo omdas radi tear, Edi sorry raudodo. Edi o my other tear, young arba parnir. The mo magnitar and rear el morar av. Edi a lorenz that the ginger are the rear murder rear. Edi a lo, lo ring a saula. My vehicle sorry, and Malak, 
Ralit. Meaning Ras said, the Amoda Alum, the Soril Malatkara Dios, Rasia, Maria Dios. There is God who created the universe. Right. Uh, we're in end times and people are become so selfish. They only think about themselves, mine. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, everything is about them, about myself, right. about my own. You know, uh, Bella, they are long around all time. Lengalak la adra, I got say I'm more than the more. Malve, you think of you know, think of, about others. But say, kada blo all malat karara. El ang diyat, diyay kay. Wuk mal di ka ma arang alik ay member ko. I say. Even your sister and your brother, you don't really think about you think about them, but you focus is you and your kids only. Ngor ngani itsel tuwa sa ngara mo ngar other bela adiu la pa ikale ngar klel nte kal ikal tola pa lumrula adiu la wablay ngar klel lesel moral mo mal ngani ako mangat o mangat o wablay o mangat o wablay ako mo makol ng sel mangat o wablay adiu like namodiak sa kita sense of community. Yes. Erbelau. And I was just thinking about that too the other day. I was saying, I was like, 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 I would rather choose the benefit of 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 Mm, it can affect our young people. Yeah, it young does. Young people are it coming does. into that mode of just my, me and mine. Right. Mm. Oh. And the 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 say we're coming to end times. But mm. say we only kado na more sell the kids. E mo ng mo kalarong de mer or including radya the respect ra our father and mother. But yah the the mo la the mother mother love. But yah the the care. Uh, you know, even when you don't uh, agree with your mother, uh, you may be right, but you, you don't have to be shut them out of your life. I That's see. being distract, uh, distract, uh, respectful, and at the same time, uh, mm, you don't honor them. Kabay maya, yung doko saying, dahil klangal tngat, curse to you. Mudah ha mulai kerja kelangan tengah telgirah lekor kau sel mungkin lara tu mama dalam. Eba ini mula, ah, ikat tu kengah buat ngara belgula curse sel tor bela, sel tor bela. Oh, kau mula bayak lah. Ah, kau mula tal bayak lah, kau tal bayak lah. Kadi. Di kal mula bayak kerja. Di kal mula bayak kerja. Tapi kita tak mula kira dal. Al mukar kik kerja. Om, om klaw lah, om kekarel. Ah, om kira dal mungul, mungul lara maklaw mar mad madalaban. Saya kira kira dal kapul. I see. It's it's a funny thing you you say that because sometimes saying you know kata you know ngakak. Aku aku lah tidak kalau termin sahaja yang ling sebabnya timing yang ada tu kita mana ada beli, they mau disagree, you know, muka in my household yang lagi belol ada tu emu disagree, agree to disagree, mana ni kalau kim yang ling dia kim lagi melas pun dia kim sal mal mo kau total kira lagi sebabnya timing, you know, lagi let our emotions. Dictate what we say. Yes. Sel baby that time, cook munga malmo, wale ngalak le toy. Sel baby that time, mer adablik. And just recently, ah, adablik ah mal di kan erulit. Tapi kita, kita wale bela surprise pun dia ngak. Wow. Oh, oh, mak mal kita wale oh feel bad le ng mal. My mom really knows me very well. Mung mal madul, duli adu osirakar dan tidak kasi. We may not be perfect parents, but we're so proud to have the perfect. Wow. <laughs> wow. And I felt really, you know, I, I, my, I love my mom and dad so much. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that we can also wow. talk within our household, uh, mm -hmm. uh, have disagreements, but, you know, we try to uh, come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. And so, Akmal, uh, it's funny that you say that. And then, Mal Gire del Mral, Diakato, Mo Watch Aigal Toldo, Lkoy. Because, you know, um, I was also talking to some co workers directly. Sometimes, eh, the the kmung at the oil, the mlak at the drumud at kmung. You know, and when somebody, you know, 
uh, leaves and you're going to end up uh, stuck with those words. Right. Sometimes we say words that we don't mean. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, to put more effort into uh, uh, changing those things and changing mm -hmm. those uh, mm -hmm. the vocabularies that we use sometimes. Uh, yeah, and, and that's a good point. You know, to become closer to God as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to honor that and and be thankful for the parents that we are given. Yes. I say. Mm -hmm. And I'm Akmal, Akmal, thankful for our other people. So I, I, it's funny that we're saying this, but uh, uh, I'm, I feel, <laughs> I felt that because I think that I'm more victim of the last time. I say, I think I'm more victim of the But uh, in the end, we always try to come up with a solution. And I feel like some people don't have that opportunity to uh, uh, come up with a solution before Atrabli uh, Lamarail or pass away, you know. Okay. And so it's always good to always try and uh, even though you and your mom or your dad have disagreements, mm -hmm. always try to come up with a solution uh, between you and your parents. My dad, my dad left my mom. He was very abusive and it really affected my life. I was very hurt. It took me years to really forgive him. But I had to choose to forgive. Le, I'm glad that my father um, heard me to say this word, I forgive you. And I wrote a letter to him. Mm -hmm. And you know, I believe that was part of a blessing. Mm -hmm. Because today I don't regret that I forgave my dad and I I press on to and push myself to find time to spend. I flew to Palau and spent one month with him. I don't regret and the Lord opened the door for me because of my willingness to release forgiveness mm -hmm. and even release forgiveness for, toward my mom. Wow, amen. My mom neglected her children. She was always somewhere else. But every time I come to Palau, I look for her, see, it's hard to find. Uh, to really t um, uh, spend time with her. But the Lord made a way that she went to U.S. and she don't know how to go anywhere. So she was stuck, stuck in my sister. with you. <laughs> and that's where I went. And he, the Lord heard my cry. He wow. knew the desire of my heart. Oh, I see. And my mom, I, I flew here to spend 11 months with my mother before she passed away. And they were beautiful times. I never regret and, and so this is uh, our chance as uh, uh, young people and even middle-aged people to make things right with the uh, people who wrong you yeah. because it's for your own good, not for maybe for the other person, but really for your own good. Oh, because say. someday you will never regret I say. Mm -hmm. your, that your loved ones left and you don't never regret yes. because you did the right thing. Right. And uh, that's that's beautiful. The Amra Lungin message and Dirakal, you know, make peace with those that uh, uh, you feel. And on Friday, you know, we're thanking God. It's Friday. It's a good time to be reminded that we need to make peace with uh, everyone around us. Anybody that you have some sort of pain with, you know, make peace with them. I know sometimes saying, nga kati malukoy kang and hindi understand ako sukuk situation and the you know, we try, we try to make peace every time at least they can let try yeah so uh, that's a beautiful story to directly share so uh, people can also think about that forgiveness you know right. mm -hmm. forgive so uh, and forgive them and forgive and that's a strong message uh, that you just shared amen yeah, right. I think we need to be a people of uh, peacemakers. I say, mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of peace, <laughs> uh, uh, our show is really uh, also about music, and we want to hear some of the songs that you're singing as well at uh, Four Square Church. Uh, what are some songs that you can share with us uh, that we can hear on our? Thank God it's Friday. Give thanks with a grateful heart. We start with that. <clears throat> Yeah, and I was told you you were we were supposed to have a guitar, but uh, uh, there was a little bit of technical thing. So uh, we're gonna do our show with a uh, acapella. Yes. <laughs>
We can sing our yeah. give thanks. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, all right. If you can sing this, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, so mm-hmm. 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 Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks unto the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks, oh, we give thanks. Amen. All right. Thank you for that beautiful uh, song. So, dana ko kora masada sa kamlara, Amerikel and sa imong kora ako ko ay sa kita ako kora a journey ka, well, mira el al sit sa sa kamlara kaya. It's interesting. My journey begins with I was very suicidal person in my high school time years, and um, I just wanna end my life. And one day in 1982. Mm-hmm. One night in the middle of na- of the night, I said, "Lord." This is in high school. Uh, after high school. After high school. I said, no. "Lord, if you don't have a plan, if you don't answer me, I will end my life." And one night, the people will think I'm crazy if they are listening to me. So that's not true. God cannot speak, but God, who created the universe, can speak however He wants. Amen. And in that quietness, the Lord spoke to me and he said, I have my answer to you. And I said, I was communicating with the Lord for the first time that night. And I said, Lord, then what's your answer to me? And he said, in, it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 17. meaning of Bible. So, open up Biblia once, and second time my f- eyes fell on the verse. And I say, I'm calling you as a church. And I said, Lord, I'm Catholic. But he said, you are my church. To us, say, kita, say, a church a building, of course. Why say? Me to God, we are his church. We are his body, body of Christ. So I knew. Because Lord, um, you have to open the door for me to go somewhere and learn about you. And there were people from you to the mission in Palau. And I met them. Short time later, I ended up going to the mission in Saipan. I left with five clothes, one way to get. And remember with one seats. In in the 80s, there were, you hardly see colorful seats. Maybe they sell in the store, but there were always white seats around. So, and that's when the Lord began to deal with my life, my suicidal um, heart. And in the training, there were times, you know, you if you ask my leaders and my classmates, they knew that I was a, a troublemaker. I always run away from the classroom. Mm-hmm. And so I re- did the training, redid it <laughs> second time. And I'm glad because uh, I'm, not, I'm not in the mission. So I got stuck in the mission because I didn't have return 
trip. And the Lord, from there, the Lord began to deal with my, my life. The area of suicidal, the area of forgiveness, uh, you name it. The area of uh, accepting myself. Since my lifestyle, since my and began to trust in the Lord in my 25 years there. Mung akter kalau mulu involve bra ministry pioneering ministry eh, in my all my years uh, in the mission I travel around to many countries then uh, if I was maybe if I stayed in Palau um, with no money I learned to say the Lord is uh, the one who provides. And so I was in the South Pacific for the last five years, and then my mother got sick, so that's why I returned back home and uh, buried my mother, and here I am. I believe I say I was uh, planning to be going to India to be a missionary in India, but the Lord again, when I was in the States, he spoke to me. He said, how will they know if nobody tells? And I believe I'm here, part of my not being in Palau and just to my own thing. You actually, uh, like Elvis said, our goal is to reach out to the people that there is hope in God. Um, there is hope for people who are depressed. I was a depressed person. That's why I tried to end my life. I didn't know that there is a my life can have a meaning. Um, I thought there's nothing. I, I was nobody. Uh, I believe I say I'm here. Elvis is here. Uh, to be honest, uh, I want to make it uh, clear that uh, Elvis is like my son. He's not my husband or my boyfriend. He's like my son. He's 30 some years old. I'm 60 years old. And we're working together in our church. And there is a beauty of working as a partner to make sure the gospel is rich mm -hmm. and to give hope uh, to those who need prayer can call us, uh, to those who just want to talk, um, to know about the Lord. Uh, um, and we want to share and challenge and encourage people that there is hope. Mm -hmm. there, uh, it's not the end of the, uh, your problem. There is solution for those who are depressed, for those who are suicidal, for those who, uh, who are very hurt because uh, uh, the area of unforgiveness that they're holding, there is hope. There is ways to get out of your situation. I see. Eta na mga ra o mumda sa sukuk mesa chagal mo tigil atal madang liya atal suicidal in you know mal kuraw ni tell story ka directly where you pray the mga ra kura kuk advice sa kan mo atal madang la ate ending kal atawal let's say dekal sal madang la ruba kal way our baby na atal we help that person gel atal madang la atal way say girel maral mo la laklem lulu was gel lo spe angel atal face a suicide ko to lo spe ang eso len girel la atal mal mo patience el many times atal repeat the same problem mm. and the person who is dealing with the person can get very tired and like I had enough oh and we'll take it lightly when they work with a the person they really need to be patient and show love you know uh, one lady she was a Peace Corps mm -hmm. in Palau she uh, from USA she's an American lady you know I make so much excuses of uh, uh, hiding uh, running away from her and sometimes she would come to my house and look for me and I'm hiding in the room and I'm telling my niece tell her uh, I'm not here so she leave you know and uh, before I uh, she left Palau I began to wonder look this lady I'll give up what is it that she don't give up and I began to see that she cared, that she loved. That was the 80s. Today, this lady and I are still connected. She became my best friend because I saw her love and commitment. Mm -hmm. And you know, for us Islanders, we are not a, a instant coffee, you know? We are like a brewing coffee, mm. brewing. It takes time. 
for a person to change. Yeah. Some people are like instant. But to reach out to the person, you gotta go with love and commitment. Those two have to go hand in hand. Without love, that person can sense. You are just going to fill the void. I see. But if you go with love and you go with patience, that person will come around. Because you will take time when you go. You don't go with a, on a second schedule. <laughs> so I, I gotta go. Because that person will feel it. Yeah. You know? Right. Those are two key things. Maybe there are more, but if you don't have love, it's you go with nothing. All right. Amen. Right. And you can have love, but if no patience, I'm sorry. I say, I'll get it more with a Sarah. Okay, though, Mr. Teme, then what I'm a in uh, lack time and maybe we have uh, do you have any last few uh, messages you want to share uh, Elvis or Tana anything uh, last thinking you last words that is uh, our honor to be here to present our shell to uh, the studio and presenting Christ to our listeners out there, to the friends, to the brothers, to the sisters out there. And we're really honored to be in the studio to share in the love and the grace of God. And we hope that what we are sharing is not wasted, but uh, there are people out there who are going to get a message. Amen. Which the word of God said, uh, my when, when my word goes, it's never come void, but it has to be doing something in the life of people. It has to be, you know, uh, go in, into the mind and the heart of people to change the people. I see. And uh, this is really our honor, and we are really blessed for the time that you have been uh, setting aside and calling us in the studio for us to be prayer. Uh, presenting the word of God uh, with the people here in Palau and also those out there who are listening and who are watching. Thank you. All right. I'm going to last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to do the I'm going to do the session. Comaral Saula, a Loring Sergama, Maggie Malbua say, I gave Giblam Serbo, the Dadal Masuba, and the Lutal Malmolma, and try a best to make changes. All right. Comaral Masula and Dana, thank you so much for uh, that sharing uh, of your past, the Madirakal, those great messages that we uh, uh, need to promote as well. Thank you, Elvis. And we usually end our show with Nungu, Mal Sumangura de Mirgawe. Closing prayer. Why say? Adabo to Lulu. Why say Adam el Dios? I give me a sule, Martel Malung el time, Mate al el Gibera on air. I give Maral Mergao, Maral or Dars Rablu, Bella Rogir, Tirgero Gulneas, Ramar Middle Age people, Marm Uodel and Mermadam, was Seruba, Camden Egel, Nartoral Nari, Mara. I get Rogul to all Blasis for Alcel Manga Alcel. Ma Diracalgi or Darsa Tiger Rogul outside of Palau, Loren Sergamam. I get Diracal Maral Merga or Darsa Tir, El Mormadam. Ruba Hakimal was say, I get Giblam Sad, Ma Gimorensa. I get him Ranga Sule Melenga, Ule Ruba, Eginar and Mel Alcils. Ruba Kawa Hope and Meraklan Ramam. Give us peace when we seek you. Lord, you said that when we seek you, we will find you. Right. If we seek you with all our hearts. Mung lagi mukim deru bahlo sigar gaw, elagi mukim dalo dang seranglem, elagi mukim deru bahal meringasulem, leka deru bahal tengakle, agi meralo dar serabikla adro koi, emalo asai bo mosukuma meru bah, raikel kim ngaringil togo el nasoi sebra alsel, agi olingit tanges seorga deru bahal olong seor gamam, lela ka eda orang deru bahal lead and guide gamam, endi al sebaam el mukatmok laikel mondal ngelak langar gamam. Madi al sebel gibo mungil lak langar kamam. Aku ultuir ka rubah el al sils. Edirak rubah ultuir ka, rubah al murak langar, endrak langar kamam. 
قمرا المساو لا كي درق المرا المرغا اور سيتي ال راديو ستيشن امرا المرا سوله مرا وران ما رقول ستاف الغرتيان ار وكا سما ما قلت تا ترتير لمرا البلا قارن دير ال او سي كاكلونيا للمرا بواي مقلغار ار ادل نرا اوتسايد امرا المساو لا مق مقلغا تا ترغمام ما تير رقول ادل كي مولولو الجيرير ال ان اي كا كيولنيت لو بانك لا دي سل ادام ما دي سل نالغ ما دي سل ادارين امين امين اوكي كما المسؤول ان كون الترون الميتو نجيد تيان هذا اللاست او يا جماعه لو نيت لو اسال سبيل ا فور سكوير تشيرتش بول باترا ا تي تي اي اف المغاريا قوق تايم يقومل البطوق الميميتاق لي قوقل اول تالي تاق فور سكوير تشيرتش ان تيان عمل اوبن المورال بك لادر غوندين او سينس غوم ديرك ان لامي باتاني كي مال اوبن اسيم المورال مي روغوي سو ثانك يو سو ماتش اند ثانك جاد اتس فرايداي امين اوكي باك تو يو سبايدر Jadi dulu orang seringnya tak cuci hati CIF, then Scott is Friday. Tiang amna ringil orang yang melurior, lelom melukap singil orang yang albu ilra 2021.